Today we're going to show you how to create an effect with text in a photo where you can reveal a picture through text and create this really awesome effect. And hello YouTube, this is GS Mam Smart, and I'm going to turn on a brand new video for tutorials with GS. Today's tutorial, we're going to be teaching you how to create a text photo reveal effect or a photo text reveal effect. It's also called a portrait effect, a portrait reveal effect. It's a special type of text effect where you can reveal a picture through text uh, that you have typed out. And it's a really artistic way of portraying a picture. So however you want to call this effect, uh, you should have seen a little sample of it before the intro to the video. That's what we're creating today. And it's a really cool effect. Now, uh, I do have a sample picture made here. I basically just quickly designed this. We're going to be showing you how to do this with color, and we're going to be showing how to do this with just black and white also. If you want to create your own backgrounds or your own design, you obviously need to work with renders. You need to render out your image, uh, and you can add text if you want. One rule that you have to be aware of is the background has to be black or the background has to be dark. If it's not a dark or black background, it may not look that well. It doesn't have to be completely black, but if it's a dark background, it should work. Uh, the other thing you want to have high quality images. The higher quality image you have, the better this text reveal effect will look. So here's a render of Beyonce that I have. I just dropped it in here. I got a quote, a famous quote from her that I got off of Google just. So I just mocked this up real quick. Here we have a picture from Google. I'm going to show you how to do this effect on both of these pictures. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, basically duplicate our layers. So we're going to duplicate our background layers. So we have a copy and we have a background. So we basically do, so we can do non-destructive editing. Then on your new background layer that you duplicated, make sure you have your foreground color here set to black. And after that, we're going to go to edit, fill with background color, and it's going to fill completely black. That's okay. Uh, on this new layer here, you're going to grab your text tool, which is this tool right here, the A, and you're going to make a box around this black square here. And inside this black box, you want to make sure your text is set to white, which it is now. And then just paste some regular text in or write some text. I have some text from the uh, Beyonce wiki, from the Wikipedia actually, from the Beyonce Wikipedia page. So I'm just pasting in. Make sure you paste in uh, as much text as you need to fill the black box up completely. So as you can see, the text curves at the bottom here, we have the entire black box filled up. If it's not white, just make sure you highlight everything and turn it to white text like so. And there we go. Once you have that, we're going to right click our text layer and click add layer mask. Then we're going to go make sure we have white full opacity selected, click add. And then we'll have a white mask here. Now on top of this white mask, we're going to go and grab our background layers, the one that still has the image copy it, control C, select our white mask, control V, and as you can see, there we go. We have now, the mask is showing our image. Now as you can see, uh, the text shows our image, but there's not a lot of detail. The smaller your text is, the more detail you'll have. So if I were to highlight all of this right now, if I go to my text layer, I highlight everything, I make this size 10, for example, you'll see that the text becomes smaller and Oh, now I became really big because I accidentally typed in something else. But if we make size 10, we obviously have to paste again and make sure that the entire black box gets filled up. But we can do that, as you can see. And now, if we do it again, if we do the exact same thing again, we grab our background layer, we paste it on top of here. As you can see, there's a lot more detail now. So the more detail you have, uh, the better it is. In fact, this still is a bit too large anyway because you can't really see be a font here. If you have bulkier font, then it probably works as well. But the smaller your text is, the more detail you'll have. That is the general rule. So I think we're going to make it just a bit more smaller. And as you can see, size 5 makes the text even smaller. But this time, you can see the font here. So it's a great way of you know making a unique piece of art design. After that, we're going to right-click our new layer here and make sure you click Anchor Layer. When you have it anchored, if you want to have the color, right now it's just white and black, right? But if you want to have the color, we can go ahead and grab our background layer here, right click, duplicate it. And when we have it duplicated, we can bring it to the very top. As you can see, we brought it to the very top. 
And now we can change the layer mode here to color. And when we change it to color, you'll see we can now see the color. Now you do have to move this a bit around. If it fits perfectly on top, then good job. If not, you'll have to move this just a little bit so that it can accurately display the colors. Sometimes this doesn't work because of the layer masking or the text being too big. Just move it around a bit and try to get it accurately on top. Shouldn't be too difficult. And as you can see, we pretty much have it almost. There we go. That looks fairly accurate. And as you can see, now we have the color. Now we have the text here. You can pretty much read the text fairly well. And, um, you know, just try it out. It's a pretty cool little technique. Now, if you have a picture from Google that you didn't design, it works the exact same way. Now, obviously, you want to crop this, so grab your crop tool here and just do a little crop here so you don't have the text on the right side. And as you can see, there you go. There's your finished design. You can make cool wallpapers out of this, a really nice way to add some typography uh, style to your designs. If you have a Google image here, it works the exact same way. You duplicate the background. I already have it duplicated here. You go and fill it with black like we did. Grab your text tool. Make sure you uh, have a box over it like that. And I'll just paste them some random text here. We're gonna make our sure our font is white here. Highlight everything, turn our font to white. And if you want, we can make this size five as we had in the other one. When the entire text is filled up, right click our text layer, add layer mask, click white, click add, copy the background, paste it on here, and would you look at that? We have the same image with the text reveal effect here, and it looks really awesome. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial, hopefully you understood it. If you have any questions or comments, any feedback, any ways to do this easier, or you have any improvements to this, there are also some, some really cool things you can do uh, with some you know lighting or gradients. If you have your text, if you don't have a completely back, black background, you may have the text coming off of the picture here. It might be visible. You can do some things without erasing it, or you could uh, possibly even uh, black brush over it. You can also do some cool gradient effects, make it fade out or whatnot. So a lot of cool things you can do with this. A lot of cool ways you can you know, manipulate text to work with the image. You can make it work with the white backgrounds as well, but it's a bit more difficult. It really works well with the black backgrounds. Uh, with the white backgrounds, you can also do some pretty cool text things. Just work with the text layers work with uh, if you right click something and click alpha to selection a lot of cool things you can do with you know inverting the selection and cutting out the picture from the text or keeping the text shape but keeping the picture shape inside the text a lot of cool things you can do and I think if you just play around with that you can get some really cool uh, different versions of this working with different background colors different colors different image styles and it's really cool. So any questions or comments, leave in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you on board. Lots of other GIMP tutorials, lots of other Photoshop tutorials, video editing tutorials, image editing tutorials, lots of cool stuff. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you on board. And if you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, you can do so as well. Click the card in the top right corner of the screen. It'll bring you to the page. And if you want to check out the vlogging channel, the gaming channel, the advice channel, the music channel, links are in the description as well as in the end screen. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, as always. And this is GSNOW Smart. I'll be back soon. You think? Don't go anywhere. Let's get it